Afternoon, guys. Welcome back. Um, if you can just bring back uh, introducing yourself and your organisation before you ask a question, please. Uh, there are mics on either side, and we'll set the embargo for half past ten on Saturday evening for the Sundays halfway through. Are you ready, please, guys? Ben? Good afternoon, Pep. Ben Ransom from Sky Sports News. Um, ahead of this game on Sunday, how is the squad? And uh, perhaps easier for you to answer is, are there any players that are not back with you yet after the World Cup that you're not expecting to be around the squad? Well, good morning to everybody. You cannot imagine how I miss you in the summertime. <laughs> So it's a pleasure to see you again. Um, we knew that before, after the World Cup, uh, we were lucky to, to play the Community Shield because only the Premier League winners and the FA Cup winners can, can play that game. We are there. We knew it before, so adapt. We would prefer to be in our situation, but I think Mauricio Sarri the same. So it's what it is. Adapt, and we're going to play with the guys who are in better conditions, and especially I think we have six substitutes in that game, so everybody is going to involve because most of them, 90 minutes, maybe it will not be possible to play. But uh, yeah, it's a final. We prepare for that, and we're going to make a a good game and try to win it. So, are any players not back yet with the squad? Can you tell us who they are? Uh, Kevin and Sterling are not here. Are they both due back on Monday? Back after the final, yeah. As far as your squad goes ahead of the new season, of course, um, you were looking for players before the deadline. Rio Mares came in. Jorginho was one you missed out on. Do you expect at this stage any more new additions before the transfer deadline? We will see. If uh, if at the end at the end we decide to to bring another one, is because he's a special player. Can be a special player for the you know for the future, not for have one more player for the number. Uh, so I'm so satisfied with the, all, all the time, all my period here. Even the first year, I was satisfied with the squad we have. And last season again, and this season one. So now from Monday, we'll be all together. We're going to start to, you know, to think what we have to do this season to maintain the level last season. And as far as Joe Hart's future is concerned. Are you any closer to finding him and helping him get a move away from Manchester City? We will see what happens next next time, next days, and we know the situation and I admire his commitment, his professionality in every thing, single training and we try to help him to understand what we want to do and, and that's all. We're going to see. Would you let him leave on a free transfer? if? That was I'm not. Option. I'm not a sport director, so I don't know what's the deal. Perhaps um, Simon Stone, BBC. How's Riyad Mahrez? Uh, good. I have a little pain, but he trained yesterday. No, yesterday, day before, and today, this morning. It's 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 better, better than the day after the the game against Bayern Munich. Is he going to be able to play on? I think so. Yeah. Um, just in terms of looking ahead to the new season, you, you did so well last year. Is it possible to improve on that? Or, you know, where and, and if it is, where does the improvement come? Well, in terms of results, I would say almost in Premier League is no. I'm not able to, to overcome the results, the numbers we have done the, the, the last season in Premier League. But uh, but in the way we play, yeah, and in the, there are other competitions like the FA Cup and Champions League. We, we arrive in any finals or quarterfinals. So that's why we, always we can do better. If I felt would feel that is it's, it's done, we cannot improve. I will not be here. I stay here longer, but I think we can do better. That's the reason why. But in results, more than 100 points, that will not be possible. Maybe in other club, but. We know, no, it's not possible. Hi, Ben. Uh, today, City announced the Gabriel's uh, contract renewal, but he comes back uh, after being 
uh, heavily criticized in Brazil after what happened in the World Cup for his last, uh, lack of goals. And the same with Fernandinho after what happened against Belgium. How do you manage the situation to not let this impact on their performance, on their confidence? It's a problem from Brazil and for the media from there. Uh, uh, they know how important they are, they know how we love them. So I feel they are so comfortable here. If it would not was the case, Fernandinho Lassizo would not extend the contract and now Gabriel. I think the strategy for the club is perfect and it was perfect. We cannot give Gabriel, leave him out, you know, go out for another club because he's so young. He improved a lot since they came. He's He's hurt his courage, his, uh, his, you know, his fight to put every effort for the team. It's, it's incredible. I never met one, one striker fight like he, he fights for the team. And he's able to improve. He want to improve. He want to always speak what can do better, what can do better, what can I do better. And that is, is fantastic. So congratulations for him. Thank you so much for Gabriel for trusting us to stay longer with us and, of course, for the club to make this effort to, to keep him with us for the next next years because he's so young and to find the strikers with this quality so young is so complicated. Hi. Hi. Uh, speaking about uh, another Brazilian player, Douglas Luiz, your plans on him, is he going to stay in the squad this season? Yeah, we would like, but uh, he has no visa, a work permit is not yet. And we are going to try to convince the federation or the guys who decide the work permit to allow him to stay, because I think he has really potential to stay with us and play with us, improve with us. We saw it in the preseason against Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. Unfortunately, could not play against Liverpool. Was injured, but uh, he played against them. It was a good level, but not depends of uh, of him or on us. All the club wants him. He won't stay. But it depends on the work permit. Hi, Pep. Richard Turner, Daily Express. Um, I seem to remember you were a big admirer of Mauricio Sarri and what he did with Napoli last season when you played in the Champions League. Um, how do you, he's obviously now at Chelsea, how, how do you think he'll, he'll do? Are you pleased to see him in the Premier League and how do you think he'll do with Chelsea? Can you see them being a threat to you? Well, f first of all, I'm delighted, happy that the manager at that level is here in the Premier League. I won't, I'm going to learn a lot to to see him every weekend. Bef last season was more complicated, just when we play against them. Sometimes being here, I feel that uh, I'm going to we're going to improve a lot about his ideas here in in England. So I saw three games against Perth, Inter, and in Arsenal. Immediately, I saw he got it. So he did it. So the team already in short time plays like he wants, and of course need more time to switch, you know, to work everything. But the idea is already there. So I think it will be a good game tomorrow, day after tomorrow. And uh, always Chelsea is a big rival. So Antonio was with Mauricio before with another manager. So with Mauricio. Will be true, but I am delighted. The players with the, this style of play, the way you want to play, I think it will be perfect for English football. I'm so happy he's, he came here. Just, just one more. Did I see a report that you actually went out for dinner with him during the summer? Yeah. To, to get to know him, you did. Yeah. What was that? Because was that at your? No, Arrigo Sack invited us uh, to him and myself, and we were together to to dinner in in Italy. And Arrigo Sacchi paid the bill. And he still stole Georgino from him. Uh, well, so yes, we were close, but at the end, Georgino decided to to move me, stay with Mauricio. So nothing to do. I said before. So I want a player who likes to come to Manchester City, and he doesn't like to come. So maybe it was a little bit late to announce that. But uh, when he decided, don't come, don't come. Okay, good luck from Chelsea, and I think. For English football, we are going to discover an exceptional holding midfielder. Hi, Pep. Sam Lee from Goal. Just on the subject of Jorginho, was it obviously you, you're still looking for other players now? Was it a real blow not to get him? Because no. it, it seems like he is the one kind of player that would have really helped you move no. on this season. No, the blow has come here when his mind is one that prefer to be in Chelsea. 
So nobody put a gun in his head to say, okay, you have to come because I say no. So we tried. We believe it was so close. Because already we thought it was done, but at the last turn, so he decided to go to Chelsea. Nothing to say. So he, pre he wanna, is quite similar from Alexis. So he decided to go to United. So nothing to say. Has it been difficult to find another player similar to Jorginho in the last few weeks? Every player has his own, uh, you know, abilities. Jorginho is a special player for, for the way we want to play. But uh, the same, we're going to try to, to find. We have Douglas at the end of work permit his ability. When they have in Europe, of course, there are other players. But uh, nine is finished the transfer window, so that's good. Because we we'll decide in, in four, five days, six days. And if not, we're going to stay with the players that we have. And just on another manager that you've admired in the past, uh, Marcelo Bielsa is at Leeds. Uh, how do you think he will get on this season? And also, um, is it true that you encourage Jack Harrison to go there to work with him? Well, Leeds called me about Jack Harrison, and we spoke with uh, with Jack, and he did it so well in precision. I didn't know him, and I was really impressed. And always, I believe when you have space in the first team, they have to stay. But it's not enough space they have to play. And the best way is occurring in the Premier League, in the Championship. And I know for the way that Marcelo want to play, I think it's perfect for his capacity. I said I'm really impressed about this quality after Leeds decide. And, and hopefully for, for the big... You know, my admire for Marcelo is incredible in the terms like humanity, like... Uh, a person and hopefully he can, I'm pretty sure of that, he will make a good job in, in here in England in Leeds. So it's, it's kind of a similar situation, Leeds with Bielsa and, and Sarri at Chelsea? Well, they played a different way, but uh, yeah. Uh, but no, but I don't know, So, but that's nice. So in everywhere in Spain there are managers from other countries, so I think football is open for different styles, different point of view, and that is attractive. That game, not with all the manager playing the same way, will be, will be really boring. And every manager has his own way, and it's, you know, come here in another country to try to to learn of the country and play like you want. That is the deal. So it's good for the football. I think Mauricio Sarri, Marcelo Bielsa are here in, in here English football is so good. I bet Jack going for the mail. Just on Douglas Luiz and the work permit. Do you think he's capable of filling that gap behind Fernandinho? If Fernandinho wasn't to play, is Luis ready to play in the first team? Yeah. That's why he has the work permit. This will stay with us and everybody wants to stay with us because he's able to play. And after that, I'm going to take my decision if he plays or not. But if we ask the work permit, it's because we believe he can play with us. If don't, we would not ask them. And just um, the back three seem to work in America, it worked quite well with the players that you had. Is that something that you will look to lean on a little bit more this year? Yeah, yeah, we can do it, yeah. Some team defense, so defensive maybe. But in, in pre-season, <laughs> we say which players we have, what is the better condition, and we adapt the quality of the player, the system, not the system to the players, you know? So we have that player, we don't have fullbacks, for example, so, OK, we play more cover with the central defenders. We were a young team, just two or three professional players, and we adapt the quality of players and after we think about the system we're going to use. Uh, but yes, we're going to... Last season it happened, so in the, in the beginning we played with five in the back, so we will see. We have many this season, so last season we didn't have it, so we're going to, to use many different ways, I think. So that is the way I think when you said you call it for the BBC if you want to improve something, that is the way. So in different systems, we can, depends on the opponents, can do all be stable and consistent and play good. Hi, Pat. Mark Grisley from The Independent. Um, Maurizio Sarri's style is very different from Chelsea managers we've seen before in the past. But it is very similar to yours. Do you think that you and your success at Manchester City is influencing and having an impact on English football? No. No? No. Why? Why not? We have the copy, always we copy to the winner, but that is not as what it is. I try to be influenced in my players, that team, and play convinced what you have to do. No, it's because Chelsea decided to, to bring Mauricio because he made an amazing job in Napoli. What he has done in Napoli with the players, with that club, was complicated. 91 points, I think so, he did. So he's outstanding. 
So it's incredible the way we play and of course compete against Juventus is so tough, but they were there until the end. And when Chelsea decided to come, it's not because we won. We won. It's because they, he did it really well in in uh, in uh, in Napoli because Ramovic and Marina and the other one decided, oh, I like this guy, how he do in Napoli. I want to try to to bring him here. So that is the only reason why. Last two before the embargo goes. Okay, there and Simon Peach from the Press Association. Sarri's obviously got a certain style and one that you admire, and Jorginho will obviously help him implement it. But given how late it is, do you think this is going to be a work in progress kind of Chelsea side that you see on Sunday, the, the unfinished product that you can capitalise on? Well, if it's an unfinished product, we have to say Sarri is the best by far. In just two weeks, three weeks, playing the way you want to play, that is top. So that is already quite similar. He will do it. I am pretty sure that his team is going to play the way he want to play. That's true. So it's a big challenge for all the contenders as well. So to be, so Chelsea is always a contender, always. Since uh, I think Abramovich took over the team with Jose, with Mourinho, with uh, many, many managers, they won a lot, a lot of titles. I think after. United, in the last 20 years, I don't know how many, is the, the, the club with more titles. So he won with many, many titles, with managers, with Carlo Ancelotti, with, uh, uh, you know, with Di Matteo won the Champions League. So, but now with all with Chelsea, he's tough, and with Mauricio Sarri will be tough too. Obviously, the Community Shield offers you a chance of winning a trophy. What, what, what do you want it from it, apart from obviously the victory? What, is there something you want to learn about building momentum? Well, well, momentum, it was time ago, it was last season. We don't have still the momentum because we didn't start, not yet. So, of course, we want to win, it's the final. We we, we try to, to, the short time together, to, okay, to review what we have done, analyze a little bit what Chelsea will be, to try to, what we have to do, and and and, and play the final. And of course, we want to we wanna win it with the situation we have. So, also for Chelsea, it's not the ideal situation. Of course, there was more time together uh, this part, but uh, uh, also they have, we have time you know, work from the last two years, two seasons, so we're going to try and see the physical condition is coming, to see what we work this short time, it works or not, and every game show you if you are in good path or not, and, and after you have one week to go to Emirates against Arsenal and start the season. Last one before the embargo, please, guys. <laughs> Of okay from the Times. Um, if you look at the last few seasons in the Premier League, um, the champions have always gone down a lot. The, the last, the, the next season, Chelsea in particular have had that. Man City before you arrived. Why do you think that is, and, and how can you stop it happening here? But I don't know. I leave the situation in Barcelona and by Munich, mm -hmm. and we we were able to you know to to repeat and bring back to back. Here maybe because it's more complicated for the contenders, we can. So all the teams are good. That's why every time we reflect with perspective what we have done last season, I'm really impressed. So imagine now we start, we're going to make 100 points. <laughs> so it's the same situation. In the first season of my first first conference said we're going to make 100 points, impossible. That's why with perspective we'll realize how good, but the target is what we have to do. I don't know the hungry, what do we have? I, we will see. I think I, I don't have an answer for that. Uh, just I try to repeat what we have done in Barcelona by Munich to you know to be m harder with my players. That is, I think the the best way to get. If don't after win you okay, I'm really good, and that is the moment we start to go down. So to be clear with them, the guys who are good say you are good. We're bad. We're going to say you are bad, and and you know try to be fair in the, what I see on the pitch and off the pitch and and try to to choose the, the, the right lineup and try win games and try game by game to do our best. Because you said you said when you won the league in, in April you said that it would be hum, human nature maybe to for those players to relax and, and, and it's clearly a different challenge management wise to, to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah but after won the league in advance we were we accept one game here against Huddersfield, but uh, we were so tired and we didn't play good. The other, we were there. So I, I don't think about too much. I think about which is the next one, good game, okay, prepare that game and see the players are more 
sharp or more, uh, you know, ready to, to play that game. Don't think too much next week or in February or in January or something like that. I think when that situation, the best way is the next one. Community Shield, uh, the players know I prepared like it was the final, the best final we have to play. So seriously, to try to to know as much as possible about Chelsea right now and about uh, Hudson O'Day, the new winger, like it's, uh, wow, so fast and to discover, you know, that and prepare the final. Only I can assure you to my players that it's going to happen every single day, every single game. And after, we'll see if we are able to make back-to-back. -back. I will be happy if we arrive until the end being there. That is what we'd like to, to see. May, April, May, being there. Because we cannot deny, so all contenders, United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham, they are excellent players. So that's why in 10 years, I think 11 players, no team make back-to-back. Set the embargo of half ten on Saturday, please, guys. Just start with Steve there. 